Well, uh, U.S. Democrats and the media have rounded on Donald Trump's son over a meeting he held last year with a Russian lawyer. In response, he's released the full email exchange from June 2016 relating to this very meeting. Now, one of the emails offers, quote, very high level and uh, sensitive information that supposedly incriminated presidential candidate Hillary Clinton and might be of use to Trump senior. The information was claimed to be based on uh, some official documents originating allegedly from uh, some crown prosecutor of Russia. And that job title, though, has certainly raised a few eyebrows in the media uh, because, well, there is no such official position in Russia, the country not being a monarchy. And there are other confusing aspects of the story as well, as uh, RT's uh, Caleb Mopan now reports. The story is like a Rorschach test, meaning that everyone sees a different picture. And most of the media sees a picture of collusion and treason. Donald Trump's son think he was about to get help from a Russian lawyer with ties to the Kremlin. This is looking more and more like treason. Intent to collude with the Russian government. All this strange behavior from the president, it's all explained now. But that's not how Trump Jr. sees it. He says that nothing of substance was discussed at the meeting, which he described as inane nonsense. It was such a nothing, there was nothing to tell. I mean, I wouldn't have even remembered it until you start scouring through the stuff. It was, it was literally just a wasted 20 minutes, which was a shame. Whatever the content was, the characters involved with the meeting are certainly worthy of a good movie. Wake up. Come on. I'm really tired of you. You're fired. We all know her name now. Natalia Veselnitskaya. Natalia Veselnitskaya. Natalia Veselnitskaya good story, but why does everyone want to link this Russian lawyer to the Kremlin? She works in adoption law and does not work with the Russian government. And why would the Russian prosecutor choose all of these people to deliver sensitive information to the Trump camp? Donald Trump Jr. confirms that this meeting was a big nothing burger. He says she did not have any damaging information on Clinton, but instead that she wanted to discuss adoption law and the Magnitsky Act. She confirms this. I never knew who else would be attending the meeting. All I knew that Mr. Donald Trump Jr. was willing to meet with me. Uh, do you have connections to the Russian government? Yep. No. Furthermore, if this meeting between the Trump team and the Russian lawyers was about handling damaging information on Clinton, where is this bombshell? We have yet to see any bombshell from the Trump team about their opponent. So after months and months of proof related to Russia and Trump being anticipated, we finally have a story that's rather complicated. In fact, it's so complicated that you can see whatever you want. The confirmation bias of the reader can lead the mind's eye to read whatever they want into the story. If you're determined to see Trump works for the Russians, you can see it, even though the logical links just don't add up. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York. Julian Assange was among those urging Trump Jr. to publish his emails in the name of transparency. He offered to do it for him anonymously via WikiLeaks, though two hours later, Trump Jr. published them himself. A political and legal analyst, Lionel, told us that there's no substance in the story, only the buzzword Russia making it a point of discussion for the media. Whenever you hear about this Trump collusion meeting, always ask the question, and? because that's what you have to do. And Donald Trump Jr. met with this Russian, and look what we're doing. We're talking about what could have been, what should have been. We're playing what if. In any light, from any angle, there is nothing that is even remotely, almost 
against the law. Somebody said treasonous? There's nothing here. But let me tell you what is the saddest part. We have been told Russia, 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 Russia to such an extent that maybe by virtue of this repetition, there's been some kind of a cerebral connection made where people impute guilt whenever that word is meant. And I'm not kidding you. It's almost like a brainwashing. There is absolutely nothing to this story, no matter how you look at it, from anybody's point of view, there is nothing there. I think I've made that very clear. Nothing.